how to make a rail fence. We're gonna be using three from Deb Strain's collection by Moda Fabrics. We have one dark and two lights. We're gonna be using a, what's called a strip set. on the fold over here. I'm gonna give myself, just gonna even this out. because I know that's a straight and I'm going to straighten up this edge here okay now we have a good solid starting line I'm going to cut two and a half inch strips now if you have a jelly roll that's great. <clears throat> I don't have a jelly roll. I just have fabric with this particular collection. So I'm going to cut two and a half inch strips and I need, I need a total of 24 inches. So I'm going to line this up. There we go. There's one. And I'm going to move over. And two. Now, I have all this left that I can make another project with. Or you can make placemats, table runners. I'm just going to show you how to make one block and then you can make more of them okay so we have we're going to take a dark and put it in the middle and then, then I'm gonna put the lights on either side all right so what we're going to do take your middle and we're just gonna write sides together jelly roll you are set 
We're gonna be sewing with a quarter inch seam allowance. <clears throat> All the way down. So we're gonna take this and I am going to finger press to the dark side. I'm gonna take my other light and if you want the dark on top then you put the dark on top. You layer yours how you want to. I'm just trying to teach you the process. Okay. Again, we're just going to finger press to the dark. So basically, your seam should be going in. press these and then we'll cut them. So we're just gonna kind of set the seam. You don't have to push and tug and everything because you don't want it to stretch now I pretty much mainly only sew with Christmas fabric this can be done with any fabric collection that you have. <clears throat> but with Christmas fabric, there's a lot of reds. And I don't want you to be concerned if you, if you iron over the red and it turns darker. It will come back to its regular color once the heat comes out. to cut these we're gonna square this little end up so how we're gonna do that we have these lines on our ruler I'm gonna line one of these lines up with my stitch line inches. 
One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. And again, I'm using the lines on my ruler to make sure that I'm cutting my strips evenly. So this is lined up with my seam line here. This is lined up with my seam line because it started out as two and a half inches and I have a quarter inch seam and a quarter inch seam. So this should be a two inch strip, which it is. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Measure twice, cut once. Here's my half, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm lining this up, I'm lining this up. Two, three, four, five, six and a half. Okay. Because ultimately, we're going to have a six inch square. So, you have a little left over. Save it. We're going to do the same thing here. Your extra, save it. Those would be cute corner post in your binding. Okay, so now that we have these, a rail fence So all of our centers are snowflakes. You could flip it around. I actually think I like that better. So we're gonna go with it. Just like with sewing a nine patch, we're gonna turn this into a four patch. We're gonna sew this together. We're gonna sew this together. Right sides together. Sew them with a quarter inch seam. Underneath, I'm just making sure that my seam on the bottom doesn't flip up. I know how I want it to go. And we're just going to chain piece these. Yeah, what the other one did was this one, it won't happen. But the other one, I was sewing this direction and this tried to flip up on me. I think I put these back the right way.
gonna finger press this one going one direction and we're gonna take this one and go the other direction but they're together which makes it very helpful now this I am gonna pin Just be careful as you're sewing that you double check as you stitch down through here that these don't want to flip up. This would be a really pretty centerpiece. You could put some border around it. You could do a whole nother one and make it into a full-fledged table runner. There you have your rail fence. So if you make a rail fence yourself, send us a picture of what you made. If you're just wanting to learn how to quilt, go to our website, candycaneridge.com. We are starting a beginner quilting week and I will walk you step by step into creating your very first quilt, start to finish. So head on over, join the wait list. I'll let you know when it opens. Bye-bye. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.